Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh Mall, the voice for Swimming Pool Science, and today we are gonna clear out a green pool. Now let me give you a little backstory on this one. Uh, we had a customer, a really good customer of ours. We, we cleaned um, his other pool and actually his, um, his sister-in-law's pool, and they're really great customers, and so uh, he bought a new house. He hired us to clean the pool. It was kind of a mess when we got it. Ended up doing a drain and a chlorine rinse, and then uh, I promptly forgot to add it to our cleaning schedule, so it turned green. But what I can tell you is we are gonna turn it blue today and uh, take care of that for the customer because we owe them one big time. Um, and uh, I can tell you what we're probably gonna find. I haven't tested the water yet, haven't even entered the property, but I guarantee you we are gonna see a uh, chlorine reading of zero and we're probably gonna see a pH level of uh, somewhere around eight. So uh, we have brand new water, which is a great advantage and we should be able to whip this thing around pretty darn quick here with just a little bit of chlorine. I'm gonna use a uh, polymer algicide and a touch of acid as well. So let's go see how it goes. Yeah, we goofed up on this one. All right, let's check that water. I'm betting zero chlorine, 8.0 pH. I know what the rest of the water's like because this water is probably, well, it's actually only two weeks old. So let's see if we can mesmerize this one before your eyes. And while we're only testing pH and chlorine on this one, you should also check water hardness, cyanuric acid levels, phosphate levels, and any other parameters so you have a good idea of what you're dealing with before you start pouring chemicals or treating a pool. Did I call it or did I call it? Now before we do any work to this pool, we need this thing running at maximum. I'm gonna set the pump to run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I'm gonna empty all the baskets. I'm gonna backwash this thing then and only then, and then I'm gonna start treating the algae in this pool because we need everything working in tip top shape, 100 out of 100. In addition to backwashing and removing all the debris from the pool, it's also a really good idea to remove the cleaner as well, as chemical conditions will be harsh and it can damage your pool vac or pool cleaner. The swimming pool never lies if someone didn't service it, and it's been neglected, it never lies. In our previous video, we went over the programming for the Superflow VS. One thing we missed was programming Quick Clean. What you do is you turn the pump off, then use the Quick Clean button to scroll through and program just like you would any other speed. Backwashing or filter cleaning is a necessity at this point. It's also going to allow more water to flow through the filter so that we can circulate more, and it's also going to remove any excess algae so that we don't have to use extra chlorine to kill it. So before we go ahead and bomb this pool with chlorine, there's a couple things I need to do first. We have cleaned the baskets out, we've backwashed, now we need to drop that pH. By dropping the pH with acid, what we're doing is we're making it so that the chlorine can be more aggressive, more of the chlorine will work. Um, the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a really good polymer-based algicide. Um, I like Pool Tech by Easy Care. It's a polymer-based algicide. It's compatible with other algicides and 
Unlike some algicides, instead of consuming chlorine in order for it to work, this stuff works alongside the chlorine. So in addition to lowering the pH and leveraging that chlorine to work more aggressively, that pool tech is going to leverage that chlorine even further and work alongside of it so that this thing should turn blue right before our eyes. When adding acid, it's always important to be careful of the fumes, pour around the pool or even dilute it, and pour near a return when the pool is running. Acid is heavier than water and it can sink to the bottom and damage your surface. So a big important part of getting rid of algae in a pool is to brush thoroughly. You must get the algae off the walls, get it out suspended in the water, and do physical damage and harm to it with the brush in order to effectively destroy it in a timely manner. Uh, now that we got our acid in the pool, the pH has dropped, we brush the whole thing down, which serve two purposes. That is getting the algae off the walls and churning up that water so that that pH will be more uniformly lower throughout the pool. Um, we're going to be ready to add some uh, polymer-based algicide, and that is our Easy Care Products Pool Tech, which, like I said, I really like it. In small maintenance doses, it acts as a great clarifier, and in big doses, it is an ally to chlorine when you're fighting a green pool like this. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh my God, he's pouring chemicals down the skimmer. This guy doesn't know what he's doing. Well, in this case with Pool Tech, it's pH neutral and it actually works really well going through the skimmer to distribute it. And it doesn't affect any of the uh, equipment like the pump or the filter or the heater or anything like that because it's basically pH neutral. So guys, calm down, it's safe. All right, guys, we are ready for the final step, and uh, I want to introduce you to my friend, sodium hypochlorite right here, and this is my preferred chlorine to use. Now, given the fact that we've got a brand new body of water inside this pool, I could use just about anything. I could use calcium hypochlorite, I could use dichlor, I could use trichlor, I could use metal-based algicides, but uh, you know, I like to keep it simple. I like to go old school with good old-fashioned bleach, so, and I like to get my exercise, so uh, that's what we're gonna be using today, about uh, eight to 12 gallons or so. Now stay with me boys and girls because this is where it gets good. We're gonna go ahead and pour our chlorine right now and if you notice, I am pouring low and careful. Now, while chlorine won't burn or irritate like acid will, if any of it gets on your clothes, it'll turn everything bleach white, hence the name bleach. So uh, just bear with me guys because you're about to see this thing go from green to blue.
Now obviously I've sped the video up, and that's mainly in the interest of your attention span, but as you can see this is an uninterrupted video feed, so you can see really how quickly this thing went from green to blue. Just keep watching guys. As you can see, our color change is going in the right direction. Now keep in mind, based on whatever your specific water chemistry is, your filtration system, and your pool's ability to circulate, your results may vary. But keep in mind, as long as you're testing, you're circulating, you're keeping your filter clean, you will eventually see results on your pool. All right, guys, well, that was half a gallon of acid, one quart of Pool Tech by Easy Care, and about 10 gallons of 12% sodium hypochlorite. Now, you noticing the difference? I know I am. Your pool may vary. The one important thing that you do is make sure and have a complete water test before you even start putting chemicals in so you know where you are on your map and where you need to get to. I'm Josh Mall for Swimming Pool Science. And we turn this one from green to blue. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. What's the water's like? This water is probably, well, it's actually only two weeks old. So let's see if we can mesmerize this one before your eyes.